everyone and welcome back to Cooking Simulator Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing the Easy Chinese Egg Drop Soup. My name is Jess for those who don't know me and uh, this is just something I like to do just because when I first started playing Cooking Simulator and come across the recipe I wasn't exactly sure how to I guess perform steps in order to make the recipe correct so I thought this would be something that somebody would find useful somewhere out there. So let's go ahead and get started. So transfer to the, f we have to crack two eggs and transfer into the food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over here. You will find the eggs in the bottom right drawer. And basically what you do to crack it, it does tell you, but you just press E to crack the egg. And I have OCD, so I like to close things up when I am done. I will pick that up as well, because that's going to drive me nuts. You bring it a food processor over here, turn it on, give it a good blend processing, and then you basically put it down. Now we're going to transfer this into a pot. We're going to grab a big pot. All right, so for the big pot, we're going to add 1,000 milliliters of chicken broth. I'm not sure if we do. We do have it in the fridge. Usually it's not in the fridge, but we will take it. So 1,000 milliliters is one container of chicken broth, in case you weren't aware of that. And then we are going to boil, well, we got to transfer the eggs into that. All right, so we're going to put that there. And we want to boil that for 60 seconds. Okay. All right, we're going to set that for 60 seconds. All right. Now what you also have to do is if you look at the recipe, you have to take scallions and you have to separate the scallions and then you have to cut the leaves into five grams and it's, it used to be a pain in the rear for me. So basically it just separates them that way. I usually take these, throw them away so they're out of the way. So these are 20, so basically cut these into four pieces. So. They're going to be a little off, but we'll try it right there, right there, and right there. And sometimes, see it didn't work for that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bowl, because they're going to go into there anyway. And of course it didn't, so I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to work on cutting that up. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this one again. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has issues with it. And then if it doesn't cut it, I have no problem just putting it in there. And the customer can deal with it. But see how it's not... That's a pain, but that's okay. We're just going ahead and put it in there. They will enjoy it. So we're going to take this, we're going to season it. Let's see what we have. So we need five grams of salt and we need white pepper. I do not have white pepper, so I need to get the white pepper out. There it is. And then five or two grams of white pepper. And then we're going to boil it for 30 some more seconds. Set the timer. Okay, is there anything else? Nope, that's it. We already have our scallions. I went ahead and put them in the bottom of the bowl. It doesn't really matter if they're in the bottom or the top. Either works, I believe. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and get these eggshells off the floor. 
and then I just do that. Perfect. We're going to put that there for now. Great. So turn that off. We're going to turn this off. And then we're just going to put that soup into the bowl. And then we're going to serve. And, oh, almost a five star. I'll take it though. Probably had some bad cutting techniques. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, it was the bad cutting techniques, but you know, what are you going to do? So anyway, that's how you make the easy Chinese egg drop soup. There is a more advanced recipe that I have not tried to make yet, but once I do, I will definitely make sure I post the video of how to do that. Uh, if you like the content, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification button so you are aware of when I do update and upload a new video. Until next time, guys, you all have a wonderful week. Take care.